Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five day per week wisdom and legacy building podcast. This is day 767 of our trek, and time for a three minute mini trek called Wisdom Unplugged. Due to the heavy travel and activity schedule for the next three weeks, our Wisdom Trek episodes will be shorter so that I can pre record them in advance of this time. Yesterday, we continued telling the complete Christmas story in chronological order with the visit of the wise men. Today and tomorrow, we will focus on the final two events that took place after Christmas Day. We are broadcasting from the studios of the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. The entire purpose for our celebration of Christmas is the birth of Christ. And here's the story that we find in God's Word. So today, let's reflect on Matthew chapter 2, verses 13 through 18. And today, we read about the escape to Egypt. After the wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and the mother, the angel said. Stay there until I tell you to return, because Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. That night Jesus left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother, and they stayed there until Herod's death. This was fulfilling what the Lord had spoken through the prophet, I called my son out of Egypt. Herod was furious when he realized that the wise men had outwitted him. He sent his soldiers to kill all the boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years old and under, based on what the wise men report of the star's first appearance. Herod's brutal action fulfilled what God had spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A cry was heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeps for her children, refusing to be comforted, for they are dead. That's a wrap for today's portion of the Christmas story. Just as you enjoy these nuggets of wisdom, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to and the past 766 treks or read the Wisdom Journal, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, Lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Philosophy Friday.